I'm Kevin Wenzel with Hewlett Packard. This is our new DB2, HP Pavilion DB2 Entertainment Notebook that we just announced here at CES. Uh, we worked with AMD to develop their Yukon architecture, and that means their Athlon Neo processor, their chipset, and the graphics that go along with it. And the DB2 is the first and only notebook computer that, that executes that architecture. So if you take a look at the DB2, first thing you have to notice about it, less than one inch thick, weighs only 3.8 pounds, very, very portable. Magnesium case for durability, and 12 inch display with full resolution, 1280 by 800. Keyboard is very typable. It's the 92% keyboard that we use on our minis, and we've gotten great reviews on that keyboard. Mm -hmm. the key about it is the keys you use are where you expect to find them. So if you're a touch typist, you'll find yourself very, very comfortable on it. Uh, as far as options go, it's a Windows XP or it's a Vista machine. Uh, runs all versions of Vista. Uh, hard drives all the way up to 500 gigabytes, up to four gigabytes of RAM. And something, something a little bit different on this one compared to most of the Ultra Portables is that we have two uh, graphics options. You can get it with discrete graphics, and that's an ATI 4210, or with integrated graphics, and also ATI integrated graphics. Now, kind of a unique thing about the discrete graphics version is that it actually has an HDMI port and an external Blu-ray optical drive. And you can play Blu-ray DVDs on or, uh, or DV2, you can even uh, send the, the Blu-ray DVD output out to a TV set via the HDMI connection. Yeah. So what do we got? Very thin, very light, kind of redefines, durable. Durable. Yeah, kind of redefines the class of the ultra portable. And I like to call this the ultra portable that everyone can afford because we've got a starting price point of only $699. Yeah, that's really key because I've bought ultra portable portables for years and they're usually north of two thousand dollars. So right. this is this is netbook but better and also still affordable. So yeah, it, it, it goes kind of in between the netbook class of machines and right. other notebook computers. Uh, but it runs all of your normal office tasks. You can run Outlook on it. You can run uh, spreadsheets on it, all of those kinds of things. So it certainly runs applications that your netbook class machines usually don't run. Um, right. to, to, that means it can be your primary computer. It can do all of your, all your work mm -hmm. and, of course, go with you everywhere. Yeah, and with, with that HDMI output, it'd be pretty easy to hook it up to a, a monitor and you know, use it. You know, sure, regular you can hook it up location. to a TV or if you've got an HDMI to... to uh, DVI cable right. up to monitors. Yep. Excellent. It's, also, it's also got a VGA port. Okay. And a, lot of VGA people, port a lot of people still like to use VGA to hook up to things like projectors and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's sort of a legacy port that you still need to still need yes. to have around. Yes. All right, so I uh, want to take a look at the DV3 now. Okay, let's go around the other side of the table to the DV3. Okay. okay this is our HP Pavilion DV3 series notebook. It's a 13.3 inch display and certainly a notebook with all of the features you might want to carry around with you in one very compact, very portable package. Notice it's one of the first Hewlett Packard uh, Pavilion notebooks to have a slot load DVD drive. So DVD drive is built in. It is just over one inch thick and it's a magnesium case so it's very durable. It has a really attractive right. bronze yeah. color to the case. This is, this is and of course a glowing HP logo to let everyone know that you've got the best. Right. When you open it up, we've got our HP imprint finish on this palm rest area. So it's again a bronze uh, look with a pattern that we call intersect. I consider it kind of an Escher esque style pattern. Mm. It's a full power notebook with AMD Torion dual core processors. It's got the ATI HD3200 graphics, which is an integrated graphics, but a very well, very good performing integrated graphics. And of course, hard drives all the way up to 500 gigabytes, uh, memory up to eight gigabytes. And on this one, we also do offer an SSD option. So you can get an 80 gigabyte SSD if you want to order it that way. Um, on, the, uh, on the GPU, the D, uh, the DV2 has an option of, of two different GPU, like yeah. integrated or discrete. Uh, is this one uh, strictly this integrated? One, this one is strictly the HD3200 integrated graphics. Okay. okay. I've done a lot of testing on those. They give a really good uh, Vista experience. Mm -hmm. And actually, if you look at the 3D scores on that graphics processor, it's it's a respectable score. 
Right. And it is DirectX 10 compatible. Okay. Uh, and the price point of the DV3, like what it would start at? DV3, DV3 starts at seven ninety nine. Okay. So again, a really good price point. All right. Thank you very much, Kevin.